Hello lads and lasses, TRZ Plays here and today we're going to be talking about the tier 4 French Contre Topelier Jaguar. Now Jaguar is a Chacal class Contre Topelier of the French Navy. She was built in the 1920s and mostly served as a convoy escort for the majority of its career. However, she was committed to the English Channel later on in the war. And uh, after the Battle of France had begun, she was torpedoed by German E-boats. And uh, unfortunately, she had to beach herself and she was de deemed unrepairable. So in a nutshell, she was wrecked. Her career lasted from 1923 to May of 1940. So that's a short summary of uh, Jaguar's history and let's hop on to the commander, Philippe Aubonnier. Now the build that I'm running is a double concealment build because the French really need concealment because they don't get the smoke screen anymore. Well, they never had a smoke screen in the first place. So I went for Schwerski and Erich Bay. Now if you can't go a gunboat build with uh, say Burke and Halsey, this is what I did for my uh, Jaguar and for most of my French destroyers. Uh, Philippe Aubonneau's base trait is increase your destroyer's HE shell damage. French destroyer HE, from what I'm gathering, is probably the most powerful destroyer main gun HE shell damage. It, has, uh, it is the most powerful HE shell for any destroyer, now that I'm think of it. Let's talk about row 1. Contact is imminent or subsurface venture. I'd go for subsurface venture because you get more utility than with the other skills. You get torpedo speed and the reload time for your torpedo launchers, but at the same time, your main guns have a, have a worse reload. As for our second row, fragile threat, go all out, or look at me now, I'd go for look at me now. You could go for a speed build with uh, go all out, but then again, you'd have an atrocious engine boost reload time. The row number three, standard fall, perceptive, or back in stock. I'd say both Perceptive and Torpedo Safari are useful. I personally prefer Torpedo Safari. And number four, we have Smoke on the Water or Destroyer Be Destroyed. It's quite obvious which one you have to pick. It's Destroyer Be Destroyed. You don't get a smoke screen on French Destroyers other than Eagle. Legendary skill, uh, give me speed for the maximum destroyer speed. That's obvious. The unsolvable is useful again because it reduces the engine repair time but I'd much prefer give me speed because the French destroyers are very fast boats. Now let's hop on to the upgrade which is aiming systems for dispersion of main battery and torpedo launchers reverse speed. She is uh, very, uh, how do I explain, a big FU to carriers because uh, many times I do play Jaguar is when I am in a carrier match and I go hunt the carrier early in the game or when uh, if there isn't a carrier I try and pick off the battleships because this thing can gunboat but without the smoke screen you can't escape a fight you have to be 100% committed to the fight so that's the only problem there now in, let's talk about the uh, armor armor wise incredibly French and incredibly thin the good news about the armor being French is you get the French hull saturation, which is very useful, meaning your hull saturates very quickly, meaning you take less damage per se. As for stats, HP, mm, 16k, this is after all essentially built to counter Italian light cruisers. Artillery wise, as I said, French destroyer HE probably the best destroyer HE. Torpedo wise I'd go for torpedoes. I'd focus more on torpedoes and the concealment is a must because again multiple times without a smoke screen once you get into an engagement there's no running back and maneuverability French destroyers are known for their speed 38 knots and that is with a epic battle booster. You can get uh, even higher if your uh, Aubonneau is fast, is more leveled up. Or better yet, not just Aubonneau, you could go for a full speed build, including uh, someone like uh, Fraser. You can also have Fraser increasing your speed. 
So that is a uh, recommendation. If you want speed, you could use Fraser as an inspiration as well. And that's all I have to say for Jaguar. She is a very, um, she has a lot of utility to her. Even though she's a French destroyer without a smoke screen, you can use it effectively, especially when it comes to countering aircraft carriers. So I recommend her a lot. She, her AA is meh, but um, you mostly, when I play French destroyers, I go for the carrier. We take out the carrier early in the match. And that's all I have to say for Jaguar. Would I recommend grinding through her? Yes, yes I do. But you have to prepare from Jaguar onwards because uh, then you, when you get to Gepard, it starts to decline a bit with the French destroyers. So practice with Jaguar, then play Gepard and try your best to get your hands on Fantasque. That's all I have to say. Good luck and I'll see you on the high seas. Enjoy the gameplay I have rolled for you. Problème résolu, chef. 